Well, I've done everything but uh, test, put the mast into the uh, lined hole, and the finish is still too soft out there in the mast. So I think I'm going to commandeer the basement for a bit. Let's see if we can bend the sails on to the boom and the gaff. Alright, <clears throat> we're going to be feeding the butt of the mass through here, so we want it to be just tight enough so that when it's hanging, it keeps the jaws in the middle of this PVC and protects the mast. So, lace it up, and then this tail can be used for the reef point, where we pull the reef point down and loop it through the same grommets and onto the eye ring to reduce sail uh, to there. The gaff is a little trickier because the, the butt of the mast will come through here and then we're going to have downward pressure pulling the gaff up from the halyard. And we need to keep the, the jaws on that PVC. I think that should be about right. Now we want to line these guys up with enough space so that it keeps a straight line along the luff. Alright, I think that's uh, good enough to try to raise the sail tomorrow. I like a loose footed uh, sail. It gives an easy way to control the curvature so I'm not going to fill in all those little grommets. But along the gaff I am going to put little rings. Uh, like this, uh, I'm sure it's not approved nautical technique, but these little lashings, uh, just doing a simple knot and then a little bit of hot glue, uh, it means if I really want to take it apart, I just munch up the hot glue and retie. Alright, so we get a nice tight bow one on here. Uh, I'm gonna loop this under, tie off just enough slack for the first guess at the curve we want on the sail, and then leave a tail for the reef point up there to bring that down to the boom when you want to reef. Something like... Alright, the last, maybe the last thing I think I can do down here is to try to make the bridle for attaching to the gaff, uh, and then that will be attached to the halyard. The boom should be about uh, three feet from the base, which gives it a distance through the thwart and some headroom under it. And that's 13.8, right where the tape stops. And relatively straight. And one of the things I'm curious about is to see whether this thing hangs okay because it pulled the peak quite a bit higher. I think I can approximate this, leave a little bit of a little bit of extra. Here is our checklist. Second to last item, nylon covers of flotation. There's our nylon. Deb can make it work. Deb can make it work. No pressure. But let's let's look at the shape of this first, huh? And remember, so here's the outside. Forty-two by thirteen. Here's the thing, Doug. Before we do that, here's thirteen. Okay. Goes back in. 
Yeah. Was it um, was it a tight squeeze? It is. It's pretty form fit. Uh-huh. What'd you do? Well, because it's sitting here like this, I think I would probably. I had it. Uh, yeah, this is this is looking good though. I think. So what are we doing? Pops one back here. Yeah. See if it goes into the book. contact point between the tiller and tiller extension. Be nice not to have that rub and at the same time be nice to have a little piece of velcro. We we'll make these two a unit until you want to take them apart. So I think what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this nylon webbing and make a ring around there. Maybe fasten with hot glue with a piece of velcro fastened to that that can go over the tiller extension. So that I think will work. Turns it into a unit, keeps it from rubbing, just hot glue around uh, the nylon webbing. We'll see how that holds up. Another uh, punch out item is when you're rigging, I found this on Kim's and Brian's boat, it's pretty similar. First thing you do is drag the mast back, laying it across the transom in order to feed the butt of the mast through the uh, loops at the gaff, the two attach points, and then finally the boom, and then you can stand the mast up. <clears throat> so you're dragging the mast over top of the transom. So I made a little board like this, put a piece of carpet across the top, and you lay that in there before you start rigging. So we'll go ahead. Not ideal weather to complete the rigging <laughs> but I got the day off and uh, really just want to get the last mile done got the sail all bent on and coiled up <clears throat> and the mast still sitting on its jack stands but it's second urethane's cured so we can take it off of here and uh, see if we can actually raise the sail for the first time. So I put the spike through the uh, lock holes and the mast step. This guy needs to be able to go through.
Jesus. arrows on these on Kim's and Bryant's boat. Just because it seems to get a twist. Boom. 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 Locking pin is in. Flip the halyard on to the gap. Shoulder got forward. Down from the head of the mast through here. Well, I've been a little worried about this home design sale. It's not terrible. I did some variations here. The boom is hanging a little lower than I'd like. I'm not sure what all the variables might be. Mast rides nicely tucked in underneath there. Lock the spars and sail in as well. That guy is not going to do too much damage, I don't think. Everything else sits okay. First time packing the fins and the tiller on the road, which I won't need, but just kind of fun. And off to get a whole identification number. are on. Don't skag the thing on the garage. So far so good. It was built 2019, right? Yep. Got a whole identification number. Now to go turn that in and go get a tail. So Doug, how do you feel about the name Grace? The name Grace. First of all, it's become standard for you to name our boats. That was your idea. Kind of a graceful looking lines on this boat. Mm -hmm. But there's more to it than that. The cool thing about biblical Christianity is encapsulated in that word grace. It means uh, the idea that God wants to give us a gift that we don't have to earn, which really boils down to the gift of His love and relationship. Unconditional love, eternal relationship with Him. Grace. Greek chorus. I think one of the things that I like about the name Grace is uh, that it's not just a 
theological concept or a description of what the boat looks like, but it's hopefully a characteristic of life that's mm-hmm. lived joyfully and fully with the ability to um, know that we are uh, accepted by God and that we can accept and care for one another. Yeah. Grace, let it be our motto. And let this boat bring opportunities for that. Uh-oh. 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 No, 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 don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. It's, uh, it's got a here, you put this down. No, don't. Uh, you put this <laughs> down and I'll... I'll I do think it. it would come down, the thing you're seeing. Let me get on the stool. Square on. Square on. Yeah, I like the slightly fanciful font. I do too. It's, it's readable. It's block enough that it's good, but it also has a little bit of... One more. <laughs> Misspelled it. There was a time at the Irish Festival on the main stage. They were had a huge sign up in the ceiling. <laughs> what did and they it say? Misspelled. Uh, I forget which word. Well, it's easy to misspell Irish things. No, it's something like Dublin Irish Festival. <laughs> Take off. Yay! I like it. I like it. We're done. Now you gotta try to sail it. Uh-huh. No facial. Oh, that looks great. What fun.